Do you feel like you're stuck in a job that's draining your energy and passion? Do you dream that one day you could have a more fulfilling and flexible life? Imagine having the freedom to work on your own terms, helping others reach their goals, whilst at the same time earning a substantially increased income. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a clear and concise five-step method, which will not only allow you to break free from the daily grind and start your journey as a successful online coach, but also allow you to thrive in an industry that some people are referring to as saturated. So let's get into this. Right, first things first, before we get into it, if you're asking the question, why should I listen to you? Then let me reassure you that I too was once tied to a job that didn't serve me as an estate agent. But I just like you no doubt had a desire to break out of that world and create a life that I could one day look back on and be proud of. And after building multiple seven figure businesses, I can assure you that you too can do exactly the same. So to make this video as concise as possible, I've split each section into five parts. It's important that you follow through each part thoroughly. But to break this down for you, each part is listed below with a timestamp. So feel free to jump to each section as and when you please. There's also a bonus section at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around to this because this is literally the icing on the cake. Part number one, you can't hit a target you can't see. So an important question to ask yourself right now is how much money do you make right now? How much money do you want to make? Because the first thing you wanna do is focus on replacing your current income from online coaching. And I remember back in the day when I was an estate agent, I was making maybe three and a half thousand pounds a month after tax, which was horrendous. And it took me very little time to be able to build an online business to replace that. And in this video, we're gonna show you the methods that I personally used and have used with hundreds of other trainers. Now, why do I say you need to work at how much you're currently earning and then how much you need to make to leave your job? Because this needs to be your initial target. And if you don't have a target for this, this is a huge mistake. So we need to break down the initial goal. And the second goal I would have is to actually double your current job's income. And that's when you can really fly the nest and make sure you leave the nine to five trap. Now, just leaving your goal isn't a job. What I want you to do is to visualize in 12 months time exactly where you are. So ask yourself this question. What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite meal? So if I was gonna use myself, for example, it would be the Cheesecake Factory in JBR in Dubai. My favorite meal is the filet mignon and I'd have the Oreo Extreme Cheesecake. And let's say we're sitting down in your favorite restaurant, you're having your favorite meal in 12 months time. What does your business look like? What does your personal life look like? How much money are you making? What does your lifestyle look like? These are questions you need to ask yourself and you need to write these things down. And I want you to physically think about being in that restaurant right now and visualize what your life is like because this will set you the target to go after. And this is something I've done time and time again myself. You'll see on screen right now a screenshot I found last week from 2019 of my goal to make a million pound business in 2019. And guess what? I went through and did that because I set a clear target of what I wanted to achieve. Now, the goal for you doesn't have to be make seven figures in a year, but it might be you might want to make your first 120K in a year. You want to have first 10K a month. The reality is you just need to set a clear and concise goal of what you want to achieve, and then we can break down this video exactly how you're going to achieve it. And I'll give you a great example of one of the clients who's done this. Aaron Isaac Jones from the UK, he went from stuck on the gym floor to in four weeks making 10,000 pounds a month on online coaching and just came out to our Marbella Mastermind and crushed it at an in-person event for two days. And that's an example in terms of quick implementation of some of the things we're gonna teach you in this video right now. Part number two, traffic and leads. So this is where the fun starts. Now, an important thing I want you to think about is this, best known beats best. The biggest problem you have right now, and I repeat that again, the biggest problem you have right now is obscurity. No one knows who you are. And this is something we need to overcome as we grow your business. However, you will still have a low hanging fruit in front of you you can take who are potential clients. I'm gonna go through that right now. Now, one of the ways Aaron, who I mentioned previously, crushed his business and made 10K in his first four weeks, is we got him to go onto his WhatsApp and into his phone contacts and contact every single person in his phone book and try and pitch them into online coaching. And that was where a substantial amount of his income came from for completely free. So the first thing I want you to think about right now is who is in your immediate network who could be a potential client? And don't be a pussy, message the person, do the thing you need to do and just ask the question. 
the number one reason you will stay poor is because you're not willing to put yourself out there and not willing to get rejected. So don't, it doesn't matter if 100 people say no, because one person might say yes. So in addition to you having your phone list, think about family, friends, think about work colleagues, think about connections you have. And if I look back at when I was an estate agent, I actually had multiple people who worked in the same company as me who came to me for fitness coaching. And I knew them from a work relationship. Some of them transparently I didn't even like, but they came to me for fitness coaching. And this is an example in terms of you have a lot of people around you who have a problem you have the solution for. Now, if we look at social media platforms, this is gonna be the key way we're gonna get traffic and we're gonna get that at scale, we're gonna get it online. Now, the primary platform for online coaching, I would suggest everyone has to start with, is Instagram. Now, if you look at Instagram, what most people don't realize is it's not really a content platform anymore. What do you mean? Most people think it's about posting photos, most people think it's posting videos. The reality is like 60, 70% of the usage on Instagram is actually DM messaging. So the key thing we actually need to do is we need to build up traffic and we need to use what's called our 4C method, which you can get free access to the full course below this video, which is essentially where you create content, to create conversations, to create calls, to create clients. And there's a free course on how you can do that below, which is much more in depth than this video is gonna be. Now, when we look at creating content on Instagram, there's three different types of content we need to focus on. So one, it's gonna be short, super viral, three second B-roll clips. So these can be super engaging, polarizing and contrarian thinking. And what I mean by contrarian thinking is the opposite of what people believe. Another example of what you can do with these is you can actually go onto Twitter, you can write a tweet that has a lot of virality on it. And an easy way to find a type of tweet that would work, if you get the Chrome extension called Tweet Hunter, you can then go into Twitter, you can look up people's accounts, you can see what are the most viral tweets they have by in terms of like the most liked and most engaged, and you can recreate your own versions of these. Now, what I would do from there, I would then post that on Twitter, take a screenshot with a black background, and then you can make that into a reel that you can post onto Instagram, and some of these go super viral. The second type of content we need to make is gonna be slightly longer form reels. So these are gonna be reels in terms of we're actually gonna be breaking things down, giving huge amounts of value, whether it's nutrition-based, training-based, or even about personal development and your own mindset. The third other type of post I would do would be some form of carousel posts. So they can be swipe across workouts, and they could be food carousels if you wanted to, infographics, and they can also be things about your personal life. But the huge thing to think about is we constantly wanna be storytelling. Now, when it comes to the content you're creating, there's three things we really need to be focusing on. And this is across every platform and every piece of content. Number one is you have to drive curiosity because you have to drive for the click and to pull people to stop the scroll. Number two is you wanna focus on solving people's problems. So identify the issues your prospective clients have and then make content that actually solves those, in particular if they're things that they don't know what the answer to. Because if they see huge amounts of value in your free content and they try something and they're like, holy shit, this is insane. Let's say for example, I made a calf training tip in the gym and someone goes and tries and they're like, whoa, I've never felt anything like that before. They're gonna have a positive feeling towards me, which is gonna increase the likelihood they're gonna wanna come to me as a paying client. And number three, all pieces of content, you have to have a CTA and ask them to follow for more. The goal is we create content that's curiosity, gives a lot of value and has some form of call to action at the end, whether you're giving away a free lead magnet, whether you're trying to get them to follow, whether you're trying to get them to share. But the key thing is only have one call to action because people aren't gonna do multiple things. And a great example of this is the reel on screen right now where I'm talking about bench press. A terrible way to build your chest is a barbell bench press. Now let me explain why. A barbell bench press before you shoot and throw me down the river is this one very simple thing. It's gonna be focusing a lot on your front delts and triceps, in particular, the way a lot of people bench press. If you wanna target your chest specifically, not your delts and triceps, I would always suggest you focus on a unilateral movement like a dumbbell press or even some type of fly movement where you can really just focus on developing your pecs. If you agree with this, smash the like button. If you disagree, comment below. And if you want a free copy of our ultimate chest training program, comment below chest and I'll send it over to you for free. Now, in this video, this went absolutely nuclear because I was slating a bench press's neck size. In the US, that's basically a religion as an exercise in itself, and that pissed a lot of people off. So there's a lot of arguments getting triggered in the comments, which, I th which is wonderful for engagement, gets me a lot more reach. But what I did at the end of the video 
is I said, comment below if you want a free copy of my chess guide. So loads of people are commenting to get a free access to the chess guide, which we then use a system called ManyChat, which we explain in another video, um, which automatically sends them a message and then fires out the guide. And this is starting conversations for us on autopilot, which is a huge part of the 4C method, which we teach in the course below this video. Now, once you've got parts of your content dialed in, an easy strategy I would do with anyone when they're starting their business is this. You give away coaching for free. And you must be thinking like, Charlie, you insane. Why would I give away for free? I did this to start my business and I made so much money because the reality is right now, you don't have a time issue. You don't have too many clients. If you're watching this, you probably don't have many clients and you're probably struggling to get them. Now, the quickest way to get clients is actually with client results. So what I would do is I would make one of these types of content I spoke about and I'd probably share it stories. I'd share it everywhere being like, I'm giving away a free month's coaching for one person who comments, uh, I don't know, like 4th of July or whatever you want for whatever promotion you're gonna do for it below the video and then pick one person who wins the prize. Now, the secret to picking someone is you wanna pick someone who you look like you can get a sick transformation with and number two, they actually have some money. Because what will happen, if you can get them a sick transformation, you'll make piles of money out of that. And number two, if they get really good results, guess what, they're gonna start paying you. So the key thing is actually trying to pick someone who can pay you. And this is how you can start to build your client roster up. You can use free clients to acquire more clients. And this is one of the key things I did at the start of my business. And one of the biggest problems right now is too many people are too prissy and have got too much of a rod up their ass in terms of wanting to do things for free but at the beginning you need to show how good you are and give value and then when you show your results and how great you are as a coach you will get clients come to you and this is how if you get one client come to you and they recommend two people your business will grow indefinitely forever and the most important thing we start to get social proof coming through the clients is how we present this so an example on screen right now is how i would present a client transformation so i'd have before and after photos you always want the before on the left the after on the right because we read left to right you also want to have um, similar images so you don't want one which is completely different to the other ideally same high quality photos i'd have the before and the after weights underneath and if it's in a decent time frame you put the time frame in there now, the weight is very important because people might look at that and be, holy shit, John's lost 20 kilos. Julie's lost 10 pounds in like four weeks. That's insane. Like, this is what you want to do because numbers quantify things. It's almost like a scoreboard, in particular with female clients because women are obsessed with weight loss and the scale coming down. And if you can show categorically you've done this with other people, it removes some of the skepticism people have about you and online coaching. The last tip when it comes to showing social proof is also to tag the person in the caption. So you wanna have a long form caption that tells a story. What did the person struggle with? How did they overcome it? How did you help them? And as a bonus, what I'd also do is I would try and invite them as a collaborator on that post. Now, what you can then do to try and incentivize this person to send you more clients, and this is what we do in our own fitness business, is we pay our clients $200 for every client they recommend to us who signs up. And this is where we basically got an army of people who are recommending and sending clients to us over and over and over again. And we just pay these guys 200 pounds on PayPal and job done. Okay, so when it comes to optimizing your Instagram profile, there's a couple of things you're going to look at. So this is our business account. Make sure you go follow it if you want to get loads of business updates in terms of actually scaling an online fitness business. But we'll use this as an example. So we have a headshot profile photo. We have a bright background that pulls people in. So you can see directly who it is, it's me, and um, the background is like a pattern interrupt. Now, if we look at the profile here, this shows exactly what we do. We have the number one fitness mastermind in the world, and who is run by, who, me and my personal account. We have a DM me a keyword for information, and then we also have a, a free course as an opt-in, which you should opt-in to, which is our full C course, which I mentioned earlier. Now, what else we have? We have a podcast tab, since it's been to our podcast, so different highlights here, uh, YouTube, client wins we show our live events our live trainings we have a pile of free guides and then we have a video story for my story at the top we have some answers to client results hundred sixty eight thousand dollars a month hundred thousand dollars a month 80k a month uh, then you say the first 40k a month and um, load of reels crashing it's these top three are pinned now to give you an example of one of our star clients in the fitness industry who's blowing up his business um is reese hallard so he's on our cmos program great example of how a profile should look so he could have a more colored background but the profile's pretty good 
very clear in terms of who he helps, super, super specific. Um, his highlights are great. So testimonials, plan results, photo shoots, plan events. This is really important. It's in my story section. So this is something I would uh, have in here and have this explaining who you are, what you do, because the biggest thing is people buy from people. So he's going through explaining what he, what he does, who he is, his background, and the amount of people who will sign up from a fitness program because of the back of this is insane. Now, the other bits of pieces he has in his podcast, ebooks, results, training tips, similar to ours. And then top three pin posts, very, very important. Client results, crushed it. Uh, authority piece, Forbes article. If you don't have that, then maybe use another transformation piece or use your own journey as a, as a, a pin post. Thirdly, is a lead magnet that's crushed it. So this is the three type of approach you want in terms of a pin post. The rest of his content is very appealing, it's very engaging, it's got bright colors. It pulls people through, which is exactly what you want when you look at scaling your business. Also, the number one way to remain poor is to not post on stories because what you actually want to be doing is posting on stories to actually sell and, and really focus on selling through there. So this is what a good Instagram profile looks like. Uh, an example in terms of from our own um, fitness business, this is for a Cal, which is business, fitness business. Um, again, social brief piece. Client results, client results. Very clear on what we do. Free guides, reviews, how we work, results. Um, very, very straightforward. Shit loads of clients and results. As simple as that. So this is literally how you optimize the profile. Here's three different options and variations. And even if we wanted to go to a final one and look at my personal profile, um, we will see in here we push business results, our YouTube channel, PT podcast, the live events that we do, and some video reviews. So very, very clear. Also my bio. I help coaches build an online empire, just like you watching this. I teach strategies from our own multi seven figure fitness business, which is this one here. And then um, we have a clear word, clear word of DME scales information, how we help you, the free lead generation course. So this is exactly what I want, how you optimize your Instagram profile. Part number three, the sales process. So this is where the rubber meets the road and how you actually make money. And I'm gonna break this down step by step, how you need to do this. Now, first of all, but not least, I actually did this completely the wrong way when I started my fitness business. So when I started my fitness business, I was afraid to sell high ticket coaching. So what I actually did is I had a low ticket program called Shred and Eight, where we sold cheap programs at $47 a month. And what we did is we scaled it up and we had about a thousand clients a month basically on that program. Now, the reality of what happened from there, I had one client come to me from this who was in our $47 a month program who paid me $11,000 in one go for a coaching program for a year. And that's when the penny dropped, that the way you actually scale a successful business is you do high ticket coaching, higher prices, and not cheap coaching. But take the story back, I remember sitting in Starbucks in Kingston when I first sold a high ticket client for 500 pounds. And I nearly fell off my chair because I couldn't believe someone would pay this. So if you're watching this video right now and like no one will pay me for coaching, no one will pay me more than hundred pounds, hundred dollars. You're telling yourself a lie. You can't sell higher prices because you won't ask for higher fees from clients. I'm gonna to explain to you in this video right now exactly how to do this and how this wholesale process should run. So the secret of how we get the sales process to work is this one thing we need to focus on. And we touched on this earlier is conversations. So conversations are what make you money. So the more hands you shake, the more money you make, whether that's virtually or in person. So what we do is we use the 4C method that drives conversations into our profiles. Again, if you haven't already hit the link below this video, you get free access to that. And exactly what we basically do then, the sole goal of the conversation is to get people into a Zoom call so we can try and sell them a program. So this is a very simple four-step process. There's four things we need to focus on in this. So number one is gonna be content. So we need to have content that's gonna come through and drive traffic into our profiles, which we spoke about earlier. Step number two is we wanna get from the content people to follow and engage with the content. Now, very, very simply, what this does is it opens the door for us to do number three, which is to DM them to start the conversation. And this is basically the spider web that we weave, where we use content to get people to follow, to engage. Now, the way social media works and the way Instagram works, you can't cold message a thousand people because your account will blow up and they'll disable it. You also can't cold message or even like war message that many people. So they limit your account, how many people you can DM. So the max amount of people you should message, I think a day before you tend to run into limits 
is generally 100. So I would do about 100 outreaches per day to people who follow you, people who view your stories, and that's about the cap. Now, if you're starting this afresh and you're watching this video, I would start 50 a day and then increase that probably 20 to 25 per week because essentially what you wanna do is you wanna warm your account up. Now, the areas where you wanna target people in terms of messaging is you wanna do uh, followers, very, very easy. Two, story viewers. Number three, this is super important. I would put polls on your stories and get people to engage with you there. You can then outbound message them. And number four, it's gonna be engages. So people like and comment. So if we make content like we talked about in the previous section, we talked about traffic, where we're gonna be giving things away where people are gonna comment, like the chest reel I showed you, these are people you can engage with and then you can follow up. Now, the key thing with this is you can send 100 outbound messages a day, new conversations, max, I think. But where the money really is made, which we work with some of our highest level clients who are making, say, 100K a month, is in the follow-up. So we have a full training in terms of our business where we teach people what's called Meta Business Suite, where you can have a tagging system. But we do something like 400 to 600 follow-up messages a day. And that's re-engaging with these people here. And this is where there's a lot of money left on the table because the average person needs seven touch points before they're gonna buy something from you. Because levels of skepticism online right now are the highest they've ever been. So now when you've got someone booked in for a sales call, you're thinking, how do I sell this person? I'm gonna go through three to four very simple things you can implement right now. So make sure you've got pen and paper taken down because this will make you a lot of money and this will change your life and the compound effects just from these very simple things. If I knew this back when I first started my fitness business, I would have made a lot more money than I actually did. So the biggest mistake that everyone makes when it comes to sales, in particular in fitness, is they sell on benefits and features. About, we use this type of app, we have this type of community, we do X, Y, Z, we do this type of macro plan. No one cares. All they care about is the end result. And what's the end result related to? Emotion. So this is where the analogy comes up as you want to sell people the vacation, not the flight there, because they don't really care about how they get in shape. They just want to get in shape. And that's your job is to actually stay on the pain point and keep talking about motion, which is what we can do in terms of visualization, which we actually did at the start of this video. So if we're not selling on benefits and features, how do we sell these people and how do we sell on the motion? Now, the most important thing is that what I'm about to tell you right now. And I wouldn't listen to any of our sales team's calls if they don't do this. So the solution to this is actually what you want to know is the kids and the partner's names. Because what's the most important thing in people's lives is going to be their family. So you want to talk about the emotion that's involved in this. How would your wife look at you when you dropped 20 pounds? How will your kids look up to you when you're on the dad who's in shape? How do your kids look at you right now? And this is a huge emotion you need to know. So what I would do is at the start of every sales call, I would get their partner's name, get their kids' names and write those down. Because what you want to do is you want to use those during the conversation because that will actually give you trust. Because firstly, it shows you're listening, but then secondly, who knows your kids and family's names? Like the family doctor, people are close to you. So this is gonna get buy-in and actually reduce sales resistance. Number two is storytelling. So when it comes to sales, the big thing that sells is stories. And there's two different types of stories. You wanna tell stories about things that are relatable to the person on the call. So how about um, that's gonna to relate to the kids and the partners and how you've overcome similar problems with the same client. So say for example, let's say you had a menopause, a woman who was on a call, how you helped Sally overcome the same thing and she dropped 20 pounds. You can even bring that up on screen share and show the exact client, almost like I have done this YouTube video earlier on, we talked about some of our clients who were killing it in terms of growing their business. The second type of storytelling is storytelling about yourself, which I've already done this video, where I spoke a minute ago about how I started my business with a low ticket product, doing exactly the wrong type of thing. So the second big thing you need to do from a sales point of view is have stories to tell about clients and have stories to tell about you, about what you've overcome, what you've achieved, and exactly how you can help the person on the other side of the phone. Number three is body language. So one of the most important things when it comes to sales is to have high frequency, high energy. So one of the things I do is actually just set yourself up for success with this. So there's a couple of key things. One, I would have some type of weird routine you do before calls. The person I usually do like press ups and weird stuff like that. The second thing I would do is I would try and use a standing desk if you can do, because naturally you'll find that your energy is higher when you're moving around. And a huge mistake I see a lot of people make is they go back to back to back to back to back on calls and they have no break to have a drink, to have something to eat, to even go to the toilet. And they're literally rushing between calls. Give yourself like 15 minutes gaps where you can, because that will allow you to be fresh and to be sharp for calls. 
and that will show up in your body language. And a huge thing I would also do, depending on what your niche is, try and look presentable on the call. So something I get a lot of our guys to do is I will get them to wear a collared shirt, it's like a polo shirt, because instantly you look more professional. This is in terms of the background you have behind you as well. If it looks like you're living in a third world country and you're taking a sales call, it doesn't really come across really well. So if your background doesn't look great, something I would suggest you do is you can create a virtual background, like a graphic, and you can add that in as a setting on Zoom and instantly creates more professionalism. So you can have that like branded behind you. Like we've got some sick ones that look like we have a seven figure scaling systems office. It looks like behind me. And I've actually had people think before I'm actually in an office when I'm not. So this is a huge thing you could do to have more professional touch within your business. And these small things make a big difference because it's that first touch point with the client on a call that they know instantly like this person's legit or they're not just from the way they're presented. Now, one of the easiest ways to also reduce sales resistance throughout a call, I would do something very, very simple, which is screen share social proof inside your business. So show other clients results, show your Facebook community, because these things will give people reassurance and that will bring sales resistance down. And what I'm about to tell you now is one of the best ways I would do this at the start of a call. And this is what I call the sleepy granddad, like essentially approach. Where essentially when someone joins a call, I'd be like, I would use this frame. So like, welcome to the call, Sally. Really, really look forward to speaking to you today. To be honest, I'm not sure if I can really help you because I don't know anything about you yet, but the reality is I've never found anyone I can't help, but you could be first, so let's find out. I could be stumped. They're expecting you to come out the gate trying to sell them hard from the beginning, and that gets them to relax. And this is the most important thing at the beginning of all sales calls is getting them to calm down and relax. A uh, great example of this is Mahai in Canada from Toronto, who actually replaced the whole income of his salaried job in four weeks, integrating a lot of these sales tactics and things we've helped him with earlier on in this video. That's a great example of what you can achieve when you execute some of the sales basics, which you don't know. Now, in the next section I'm gonna come on to, I'm gonna talk about pricing and the offer. So pricing, this is where most people go wrong and they literally put a gun to the head and pull the trigger. And I see this in particular with coaches in the UK and Europe because what gets pushed out is a narrative to sell very cheap coaching on monthly. This is exactly how you remain poor and exactly how you stay in your job in a nine to five or as a personal trainer, someone like Pure Gym. Now, I know what it's like to be a personal trainer at Pure Gym because I actually started as a trainer in the original gym group in 2008. So I know what it feels like. And the way you get out of this is by what I'm actually about to show you right now. So the minimum I would price at is 250 pounds per month, $250 a month. So now this allows you to actually have enough of a scalable business. So that for example, if you had say 20 clients, that means you're gonna make 5,000 pounds a month, which for most people means you can leave your full-time job. Now, the reality is if you're charging cheaper prices, it means you have to have too much volume in terms of clients you'd have to have. And at the beginning, you don't have the traffic. So the most important thing is to try and actually focus on getting people who can pay you higher amounts of money. Now, what I've just told you is actually wrong in some respects though, because what you want to avoid doing is actually this, monthly. What we want to try and do in the secret for you to scale is to sell upfront. So what we want to try and do is ideally sell a minimum of a 12 month program or a six month program, and I'll show you how I'd position those in terms of pricing now. So the way I'd split up the pricing is this. I would do 1,500 pounds for six months, or two and a half thousand pounds for a year. So essentially what it means is if they pay for the year up front, they get two months for free, and it's an incentive for them to do that. Now, why you actually wanna sell a longer program and not monthly, is actually within the client's best interest. I'll explain to you why. If someone, let's say Sally, for example, has been struggling to drop 20 pounds for the last 15 years, she clearly has a commitment issue. So it's, and it's not gonna take her probably a month to lose 20 pounds, let's be realistic. And for most Sally's, they need to lose more than that. So the reality of what you actually need to sell someone is the permanent solution. So if she wants to change long-term and not be another statistic, because here's a statistic you can use on sales calls, is that after three years, 95% of people who lose weight, regain it and more. So I'll write that down, because that's insane. 95% actually regain the weight they've lost and more within three years of finishing a diet. So a way to explain this is this. If you want to make a permanent change, you need to draw a line in the sand and step over it, Sally, and actually take full advantage of this and execute what you need to do and become the person you said to me you wanted to do for your partner, for your kids, for Jeremy, your partner, for your kids, Danny and Richie, whatever the names are and like use their, their family names into this. 
And that analogy in terms of like draw a line in the sand and step over it is a good visualization people think about. So this is where you need to get people to commit because they have commitment issues and adherence issues. So them going into a monthly program makes them think it's a monthly cycle. It's going to, and that's going to actually going to lead into their commitment issues. So to get clients better results, they need to do this. And from your point of view, actually as a coach, if they're committed for 12 months and they're already paid, you don't have to worry about sugar footing around them. Like if they're not pulling their weight or not doing what they're supposed to do, you can give them a bollocking and not be worried that they're gonna cancel their direct debit next month. But lastly, if you actually wanna make money, and let's say you wanna make 5K a month to actually leave your full-time job, this means you just need to sign up two people a month, one every two weeks, and then you can have a life of freedom. And that's how simple it is in terms of the scale of business. Now, the second thing is, Charlie, what do I do when the six months runs up, the 12 months runs up? So what we do in our own fitness business is we set up an automated subscription that comes out that's 250 a month for the end of the expiry date, so for month seven. Now, we tell people this on the sales call that will roll into this, and how you position a longer-term program is you talk about four different phases within your program. So we talk about in our business, our priming phase. This is initially where we help you create the right habits, we get the foundations in place, so you actually can stick to the diet plan and you build some discipline. Phase number two is the fat loss phase. And this is where we help you in terms of actually shifting the weight off so you start to get the body you want. Phase number three is a reverse dieting phase. And this is where we actually help you to increase your calories back up and actually create some stability so you can keep this for a lifelong result. And phase number four is your performance phase. Where we help make you stronger, we help make you fitter, we help give you more energy, but we can also change the whole structure of your body in terms of how you visually look to get the body you've always dreamed for. And when you sell some of the four phases approach, this is a program essentially that never ends. Because is anyone ever really happy with their body? No. Can they always improve? Yes. Therefore, you've always got more of a customer journey you can take people through. Hello guys, my name is Dan, head coach at CJ Coaching. I'm just gonna run through what it looks like to run a world-class online coaching business. Now, our platform of choice is Kahunas. Um, we love Kahunas, we've been using it for a very long time. Um, we find it's the best possible way to manage all of our clients basically in one space. So what you gotta think about is when you're coaching clients is that you gotta think about collecting data. If you can't collect data, then it's gonna be very, very difficult for you guys to manage exactly what your clients are trying to achieve. So from a dashboard point of view, we initially get as much data as possible from our clients. So we've got clients that we've been working with for a very, very long time and what we can see is over a period of time is that we're always asking them for feedback, check-ins, photos, daily progresses and things like that. So for example, this particular client here, he's been with us for 97 weeks now. Um, he's been through a great, great transformation. And then just from looking at his dashboard here, what we can actually see is all of his previous check-ins from when he's checked in, um, pages and pages and pages. What it also gives us is a gallery view of their progress photos, okay? Exactly how they've progressed along their journey. And what you'll see is with this particular client is that through different phases of his journey, we actually did through different transformations. So whether that's a fat loss phase or a muscle building phase, or whether that's getting ready for going on vacation where the client wants to get a little bit leaner, etc. From this base, we also have tracking of their nutrition where we give them their nutrition plans, um, adjusting this on a weekly basis based on their progress and based on the results, but also based on the goal that they actually want to achieve. From there, we also have their workouts where we design the workouts for the client. If a client's got a particular injury and things like that, we need to pay very, very close attention to detail to make sure that we're uh, accommodating for them, etc. to make sure that we're always correcting them. Um, part of the feedback that we do on our check-ins is that we often ask them for um, feedback on their workouts, on their particular movements, so we can sort of assess exactly how things are going. Also, we can track their waist, their weight measurement. Um, also, we can upload supplement plans for the particular client, whether we want to um, use a particular brand. Also, we've got um, daily habits, where we can upload daily habits of what we want the clients to do in terms of steps, water intake, sodium intake, and things like that. Um, also, nutrition log, where the client obviously logs all of their nutrition. And what you actually see is across the board, you'll see exactly what your clients are lifting in the gym. But you can see this not just from one, but from lots and lots of clients that we've actually got on the system. So it's a great way, and it's a huge, huge benefit to actually have a platform that's really, really efficient. Um, another great client that's been working with me for a long time here is he doesn't actually miss a beat. Um, this particular client is great. 
he runs a lots of other things as well. And then as far as check-ins go, every single Friday, we make sure that we check in with the clients on a Friday, get back to all their messages. We send voice notes, we send videos, we send all sorts of information, which is absolutely fantastic. So really, really good uh, platform. And it is absolutely essential when you're trying to run an online business that you have a platform that one, you know exactly how to use, um, two, the clients get familiar to be able to use it, but also the initial onboarding process is super, super simple. So they feel confident when actually using the app in the first place. Um, so we've also got another area on here, which is called the vault um, in the vault where we have lots of, um, you know, frequently asked questions, the roadmaps. Um, also, when it comes down to things like um, presentations and stuff like that, travel guide, cookbooks, eat this, eat that, stretching. We build this database out so the client's got a one stop shop for all of the information that they're looking to try and achieve. So super, super great platform. It's definitely needed. It needs to be measurable because if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And if you want to manage any sort of client's results and you want to determine the result from a particular client, you need to make sure that you're managing it in the best way possible. Part number six, the secret you've been waiting for, how to collapse time and accelerate your business forward quicker so you can leave your job and actually have the life you want, which we spoke about and visualized at the beginning of this video. And this is exactly how I did it. When I was an estate agent working at Leaders Romans Group in Walton Thames in Surrey, I took the money from my current job and I paid someone who had done the thing I wanted to do. They taught me and they had a proven method of something they had actually done themselves. And the quickest way for you to get ahead is you find someone who's done the thing you want to do, you pay them and you collapse the time. And this is a huge thing you need to do is what's called opportunity cost. And secondly is ignorance tax. Because let's say if your goal is to make £10,000 a month right now, if you're not making £10,000 a month right now, you're paying an ignorance tax of £10,000 a month because you don't know how to do it because it is physically possible. I've been making a lot more than that for the last five years online. And the reality is if you're not at that point right now, this is how much it's costing you every single month. And the key thing in terms of finding the right person who can help you, I look for someone who's the highest point of authority, someone who's done the thing themselves and is teaching and helping other people at mass to do the same thing. Now, what I'm gonna offer you is the map, the exact map I use to get my own freedom back. So I could do what I want, when I want, with who I want. This is exactly how I left my job on the 25th of February, 2019. If you decide to follow the map, you will get the three things I want in terms of time freedom, location freedom, financial freedom. And this map is Fit Pro Launch Systems. This is our one-to-one -one program to help you escape the nine to five or escape the gym as a personal trainer working in a crappy 24 hour gym or stuck not actually earning any money, working uncomfortable hours, flogging yourself to death and not having any time to actually do what you want. I invite you to book a free coaching call with one of our team. We will map out for you exactly what you need to do and show you the map. And if you decide to take it, you can join Fit Pro Launch Systems or Seven Figure Scaling Systems to become our next success story. We have so far helped over 100 coaches make their first six figures and over 10 coaches make their first seven figures. And this is in the last 12 months alone. If you took value from this video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe.